Alright, so, first, what you would want to do is, um, go into your Scratch project, right? And, um, if you don't want to download your project, you're going to have to share it, right? Um, and then you just want to copy this ID right here. So just press Control C on your keyboard. Now in the H, and then, uh, go to the link down below and go to this HTML fire, whatever, right? And then, um... See, it says a project ID on Scratch. Like where it says this, you want to paste in the ID that you actually copied in from here. Or if your project isn't shared, then you're going to have to select a file on your computer. Press file and click save to your computer and upload it here. Uh, but my project is shared, so I don't have to do that. And um, now look, so there's a lot of options that you can do with this. So you can do text to show in the browser tab. Right, and I'll just do tag, right? Oh no, we don't want that. Cancel. Um, and then like you can enable turbo mode, frames per second, value of the username block. Right, so if you're using like, um, in Scratch, if you're using this username thing, then this is what, um, would go here, right? Uh, tab icon, so like Scratch's thing is the S. Uh, I don't want one. Background image, it's just default back, uh, default is a, back, a black background, which I'm fine with. Um, oh yeah, you can also show the green flag in like the stop sign, and I don't really need to show that. Um, also like, if you're gonna upload it to like the app store or something, you're probably gonna wanna hide that option, right? And then what image should show while the project loads, you would like... You would choose a file, but like, um, it's, I'm pretty sure default is like a black screen. What should be stretched? Uh, don't stretch anything. Maintain the project as aspect ratio, which is what we want. And then the cursor style, which is like hide the cursor, use a custom cursor, lock the pointer, uh, stuff like that. Is the color of the variables, um, cloud variables, all of that stuff. Oh, we don't have to worry about this stuff. We can actually change the stage width and height. I really don't need that. Um, so we're just going to click the download automatically when the conversion finishes. And then click HTMLify. And it will download this result.html. And if you click this, you can actually see. We can actually play our project, right? Um, like, on, on um, Google. But we want to convert it to APK, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to type in website to APK.com. And we're actually going to click download and then just download it. Go through the installer. And you will find something that looks like this, right? Now, this looks very, very complicated. It's not that complicated, right? Um, but before we actually use this, we actually want to go into our downloads. Or wherever you saved this HTML file. Um, file and then you want to create a just an empty folder call it whatever you want and then drag your result.html into the tag or I mean the folder and then rename this to index.html all right and now what we can do is over here where it says app title put the title of your app right and then where it says website type to convert type I'll put in local HTML file because if it's a web URL, it would be like google.com or something and like where everyone can access it, but no one but us can access this file. And, um, we don't have to worry about this stuff, right? Oh no. Okay. Uh, output is like where you want this to be saved. So I'll just do like there. I don't know. And about dialogue, right, I'll just do, like, hello, because, like, oh, wait, okay, wait, wait, all right. You actually have to pay for that. I did not know that, but, um, yeah. And then where it says directory of local website, you're going to click choose folder, and then you're going to find your downloads, and click that, click OK, right? over here's like a bunch of stuff like zooming um zoom buttons https content like 
all this stuff, but I don't actually need any of this, right? And then I'll just click build Android APK. And it says, be patient to, you just have to be patient, right? For it to download, and then when it gets things ready, uh, see, it's going to process our app. It may take some longer time. All right, yeah. And then I'll say APK created successfully. Just click finish. And now, let's see. Inside of our tag folder, we should have a tag underscore one dot one dot APK. Now, this thing is what you're going to actually publish to, like, the App Store or whatever. Um, and you could actually just upload this. Like, I don't think I can run this. Can I? Oh, you're right. I can run it with BlueStacks. Um, but I'm not going to do that right now. But, um, you can also actually create a website out of this, which is pretty cool. Um, and, yeah, guys, so that is how to very simply convert a project, a scratch project, into an HTML file. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to like, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you guys in the next one. Until then, peace out.